Calling all warriors! Back with another episode of Vigor Wars 2 and the 1% Club, guys. I'm doing this late at night. I think it's like 12.30, 1 in the morning, but I wanted to get one done. Uh, I had to run some errands. We had went to an event tonight. I came back and uh, wanted to do one because I had a good comment here from our uh, warrior friend, Moon. And uh, I wanted to kind of comment on that. And I'm going to kind of do a video on that because he did a good job of bringing up a good point that we really haven't talked about before. But before, before we do that, let's do some shout outs. Uh, also, Warrior Sun. Uh, I'm trying to do subtitles, so hopefully this comes across. We'll see what happens. But um, if they're still struggling with trying to see the subtitles, let me know. I did change them. I don't see it on recording I'm doing right now, but maybe it'll come in when I actually uh, you can go actually play back and, and let me know if it's working. If it's not working, then we'll try something else. But I'm not great at technology, so I can't promise you. But I'll little by little try to get to what you guys make it easy for you guys to, to view. All right, so some shout outs here before we go into this. Um, Zephyrius Network, thank you, my friend. Dree, thank you. Uh, BT, 50 days. Uh, no woman traction yet. I don't believe, Warrior, you're going to get that attraction until your system is cleansed out and you're working through it. So you probably won't see it until 90 days. Uh, usually it takes, I think, about 60, 70 days to kind of get your system cleared out uh, of all the negative images and things like that. And it takes some time. So I think it's going to take a little time. But don't give up. Keep working at it, and it'll get better and better as time goes on. Uh, the guy, thank you, my friend, Antonio uh, Chang, uh, Chang V, thank you as always. Uh, Dylan Geiger, two months. Keep strong, my friend. Keep strong. Guido Perez, as usual. My style, my style, Camun, thank you. Roadrunner uh, Beats, thank you. Uh, congratulations, Nine of the Soul. Keep going, my friend. In Interstellar Cowboy says, I look like Phil DeFreeze. I'm not sure who Phil DeFreeze is, but I'll look up that person and I appreciate that. I'm assuming it's a compliment, so thank you so much. G, don't worry, my friend. Keep on the plan. Keep on the plan. Uh, Sebado says I need more screens. Uh, it's a call of action, my friend. And Kevin Day 9 and uh, Corey S. Looks good for 62 years old. Thank you, my friend. I'm going to be 62 in June, June 25th. So I appreciate that. Back in 1961, I was born, so uh, it's nice to kind of hear those things, and some things look like they're working. All right, so at 2 minutes and 30 seconds, let's talk about this idea that our warrior moon friend had. And he's talking about the fact that if we, uh, if we looked at the situation, and the women who, in most cases, guys, uh, and I'm talking about the guys here, and warriors, most cases, the women are the ones looking for you. And why is that? Well, because women want to mate. They want to procreate, have children, and they want to have something long-lasting. And, and, and really, the other part of this is that it's very difficult for women to live by themselves. Physically, they don't have the ability to do a lot of things physically the males do. Right? And they've seen this through the history of mankind, where they need to have some protection, and provision even things around the house to do things. So they need males. Now males need females as well, but in the sense of females, in any species you look at, the male is the one who's actually the one that's coveted, not the female. In our society, over all these years, the glamour and all this has been put together by looking at women. And the whole idea is, is that men don't realize as time has gone on that this is one of those matrix things we're talking about. That the reality is, and someone said this to me one time, it says that a man chases a woman until she catches him. And that is so true. Because the course, normal course, in my opinion, my own opinion, the normal course of activity is for women to chase men. If a woman believes that a man's chasing them, they don't want them anymore. They get tired of that. That's that simplest behavior where it becomes desperate. And so as, as uh, Warrior Moon is talking about, Warrior Sun, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, Warrior Moon, um, as he's talking about, the idea is, is that if we ever had a situation like this where the men were stalking like the women chase us around and stalk, you'd be going to jail. The police would be after you. And so, but women 
because they do it subtly and subtly and they're not doing it right in front of your face, but they're giving you all kinds of signals through eye contact. They look, they, they, they stare, they have continuous eye contact, they're playing with their hair, all these kind of things. Women tend to give off those signals that they really are interested in you and they want you. And the biggest thing you can do, my friends, is don't chase women. I've, I give you that advice after 61 years of going back and forth and having all kinds of problems before, especially before I was married and all those type of things. And you realize that the course of life, the natural course, in my opinion, again, is that women are the ones chasing the men. If a man has to chase a woman, they may like it to some degree because they like that dominating type of role, but it's not natural for them. They do it when they understand that a female is interested in them. Then they could take charge of the situation. But for a female to uh, want to have this man chase them, they may want that to happen. But once he starts chasing you, the female doesn't want him anymore. Because the thrill, the game is over. And that's the whole thing when we're talking about these situations. Now, how does this fit into semen retention? How does it fit into your goals and plans? Well, if you're that, you're high value male, that we all we all are, and you know you are, you're not going to go ahead and be chasing any women. And so the, the answer is very simple. No matter what that woman does, dances in front of you, all kinds of stuff, you're not going to succumb to that. You have bigger plans. You have goals to get things done. You're not going to allow those women to interfere in what you're doing. Because that's going to lead you back into that behavior, whether it's pictures at first, whether it's actual women, you're going to lead into that behavior of being desperate and not independent. And women, even though they may like that for a little while, are going to get bored with that and they're going to leave you. Or they're going to have affairs on you if you're married or whatever it might be. The trouble in our society is that we've been given this matrix again. Going back to the Disney thing, prince and princess, Right? That you've got to do everything to make the female happy. Well, that's a crack of you know what. The bottom line really is, is that the female has got to prove themselves to you. And they, and they don't mind doing that. Because they really realize that what they want to do is find the right type of male. If all the males are giving them attention all the time, they've heard it so many times before. And you never give a woman compliments unless they've earned them. Because if they sit there and you give compliments to somebody, then they get them from all over the place and all kinds of men are saying things, simplest men, all these people, and they don't know who to believe anymore. But if they're chasing you, they're making all the effort to know everything about you, they're making that rational choice that you're the one they want, well then, that's a simple thing. They're not going to do something against that. Because their biggest choice is the fact that they, they call this kind of dissonance. They're not going to say, all of a sudden, I'm going to leave this person because I was, I was the one who made a choice to do it. Right? Most of the time, if you're thinking about a woman, it's because they're thinking about you. It's almost like a, a spell that they put on you. They're thinking about you so much, they're trying to kind of seduce you in that way. And you can see it. Because women are on that type of hunt for you, especially if you have retention. If you're retaining and you're a person who basically has control, self-control, they're going to try every way they can to get you to them because they want that. They want that energy. They want you. And then if they get you, they don't want you anymore. So this is always a give and take type of thing where you have to kind of make sure that you're doing the things you want to do to get yourself to the place and goals and tasks you want to finish. But then you also have to have that side of you that's going to be empathetic. You're going to say, give compliments when they're needed. And you're going to try, and you're not going to ignore the person totally. There's times that you will have to do your own thing. But the bottom line really is, is that women should not be a high priority to you. Now, this is nothing to say anything bad about women. But it's a mindset that, that a, a high-value male has to have, especially if you're retaining. 
you're not going to put yourself in situations where now you're becoming desperate and you're trying to do anything to please this person. You shouldn't be pleasing anybody. And as we see with all types of other species especially, you have to kind of be careful of the fact that your job is basically, when it comes to the, the, the continuation of this population, is to procreate. And so wouldn't it make sense that women who don't have that physical type quality, they can't just go ahead, most, most women, and just kind of take the man over. So they have to find other ways, enchantment, all kinds of things we talk about. And some, some are fake, some are real, some are myths, some are not. But the bottom line is that that woman is trying the best they can to get your attention. They want your attention, they want your validation, and they want your energy. Because that's what's going to help them, especially procreating and have children. And what they're trying to do is kind of do that. But if they came up to you and said, oh, so-and-so, I want to have a baby and, and do that, you're going to run for the hills. So what they're going to do is they're going to use other strategies to try to get you to the point where you're, you're mating with them. It's so different than other types of species. I mean, yes, dogs and cats. All that. I mean, they do more direct type of things, and they're not like fooling around with all kind of verbal type of talk. But it's still the same thing, the same principle. The female is trying very hard, even subconsciously, to get the male to give them attention. And of all the females around, they're trying to show the best they can by the way they look, the way they dance, the way they act. They're trying to get your attention to them, so you're only paying attention to them. And this is something, guys, we have to be careful of on retention. Because you're going to get more and more attention from, from women. I saw it again tonight at a, at a wedding I went to. Same old type of thing, right? They look at you in a certain way, and they realize that you have a certain level of power and control that they don't see very often. And they're curious, and they want to know about you. And because of that, they're going to be on top of you. But you can see this, and I think that uh, Warrior Moon makes a great point. He's talking about the fact that really, in reality, the women are the ones who are coming after you. And you see it more now because you're on retention. You know, if you were releasing all the time and you were kind of watching pictures and all this kind of stuff, you would not have this approach. Because you would be basically kind of kind of anxious, worried about the woman liking you, all that kind of stuff, rejection, and now you're going to do anything to please her, and that's the worst thing you can do. What you got to do is the opposite. Do your own thing. Now, it may seem like you're having no contact and being manipulative, but you're not. It's the reality of the situation is you're doing your own thing. You're not thinking about her, and that drives women crazy. And on top of that, you're doing goals and achieving things, which means she has not got your attention, and she wants your attention because, once again, she wants to be that person that's going to go ahead and have that chance to procreate. Now, are all women interested in that? No, of course not. But the majority of women, this is the key thing they're looking for. Why would they not? What else would they be looking for? When we, look at, when we, we break down life, my friends, there's not too much of life stories there, yeah, there are a lot of things we kind of deal with and make it noisy and all kinds of other things around us. All the money and all the other kind of stuff. But the bottom line is, you are either procreating or you're not. You're having children or you're not. You're having families or you're not. And you're basically kind of moving a generation forward or you're not. When it really comes down to it. So when we look at this thing, if you look at the barbarian nature of things, if we didn't have all this education and all this culture... The barbarian approach would be is that a man would sit there and walk through the caves and the dinosaurs and all that and looking for a female to mate with. But the female is the one who does it. And I give you a good example of this. All you got to see is you look at what's happening and if you don't think females are the ones that are initiating and seducing you, I would, I would, I would really encourage you to kind of break out of that mindset. Because most of the time, the females are the ones who are giving the message to you first. They may look at you with eye contact, like staring, like happens to me all the time. 
or it may be something where they're they're initiating contact with you, they're doing things to you to try to get you to give them attention. Now, when you don't do that, they go crazy. They can't understand it. Plus, other women are also giving you attention. So all of a sudden, now you become one of the most wanted people around because they're all looking for that attention. They all are competitive with each other. And don't, don't fool yourself. Women are competitive with each other more than they are with men. And the idea is that you want to look at why it's important to get that attention. And they're looking for the bottom line again. So most of the time, it's the women who are the one who are seducing you, or trying to at least. And you gotta be where you gotta be careful of that. And the same thing with the pictures. Looking at the pictures, you may think, well, okay, this is an easy way out away from actual real people. But it doesn't help you, my friends, because once again, now you're in that mindset where now you're eventually gonna find people or pictures and you're still releasing, making yourself very weak. And you don't want to be in that position. So it's a great topic that brother uh, um, Brother Moon, uh, Brother um, Warrior Moon is talking about. The idea is that when you look at things, it's very apparent who's chasing who. The society would tell us one thing, but we know when we peel back all of this, and you look at retention, you could see that the females really are the ones who want, who are chasing the males. Now it doesn't appear that way, and society wants to hide that kind of this mysterious type of thing, but in the long run, that's really what's happening. I'll give you a great example. Most of us are walking, doing things all day long. We're not interested in looking at girls and women. Except when you see somebody who's, who's maybe, maybe they look seductive. If they didn't look seductive, you, would have no, you wouldn't even be near them. But the fact that they look a certain way, there's a picture of them a certain way, that's drawing it because men are visually oriented. Women are not as visually oriented, but men are very visually oriented. So when they see something, they become attracted to it, and that's when they get to the point where they want to procreate. Because they see something attractive, and women know this. Throughout the ages of the history, women know this. And because they're not strong enough to just overtake a man and say, let's have children, they use a lot of strategies to their credit which is they've had to do because they're just not as strong. They've had to survive. They've done things over the years to do that. But just be aware of that, warriors, that the bottom line is the nature of things that's really the reality is the fact that the course of life is the women are chasing the men. And you may disagree with me, but I would just challenge you to kind of think about this a little bit. Think about the course of the day of when you actually are thinking about women. Most of the time, men are just doing their own thing. But it's not until you see something or something comes in your view, all of a sudden, now you change your mind. And that's why men are very vulnerable when it comes to this kind of stuff, because they're not thinking about it. We're not trained in this stuff. We don't understand this stuff. But I'll tell you something. I know women, when they're younger, 10, 11, 12 years old, they start thinking about this stuff. Because they realize what the purpose is. And this is not neither good or bad. It's just what it is. And women realize that they have to have this course of life to be able to get what they want to get and have children and have someone staying with that child and helping them. Once again, masculine providing and protecting. So having a baby without that makes it very difficult. And I see this every day. I see this all the time with people that I work with. The kids, when they have no dad and they have one mom trying to do both things, it's very difficult. So anyway, great topic. And always remember, warriors, keep in mind that the idea is that do not chase women. They will chase you because that's the normal course of life. And they want to do that because they want to find the right male. They want to know that they found somebody and they made sure this is the right male. It may take some time. Some sh women are shy. They may not be approaching you all the time. But they will tell you in certain ways when they're what they're interested in. You got to make a choice of saying... Which one, which one of the ones I'm going to have some kind of relationship with, maybe maybe get married or, or whatever we may do, and not waste your energy on all these other types of women. And that's important. All right, I know this went longer, but I love this topic, and I want to make sure that uh, when Brother, uh, not Brother, when Warrior Moon was talking about it, that I had something I wanted to kind of say about it. And so uh, I'll leave it at that, my friends. So until next time, two things always remember. One, every day is a new day to a great warrior. And always remember to 